हेलो स्टूडेंट्स मैं सर डॉक्टर रूपाली बी गोल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सिविल डिपार्टमेंट एस पी आई टी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज कंट्रोल ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर इन एक्सकेवेशन सो वैन वी आर डूइंग एक्सकेवेशन देर आर ऑलवेज चांसेस दैट इफ योर ग्राउंड वाटर टेबल इज हाई इट मे कम इन योर साइड टू बी एक्सकेवेटेड फ्रॉम द साइड्स और फ्रॉम द बॉटम सो इन दैट केस यू हैव टू कंट्रोल दैट एंट्री ड्यूरिंग एक्सकेवेशन सो देर आर सर्टन टेक्निक्स विच आर यूज फॉर दैट सो दैट वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल सो फर्स्ट थिंग दिस ग्राउंड वाटर कंट्रोल बाई इट इज एसेंशियल इट इज एसेंशियल बिकॉज एट मेनी कंस्ट्रक्शन साइट टू कंट्रोल द इरोजन सो इफ सम वाटर इज कमिंग दैन देर आर चांसेज ऑफ द इरोजन ऑफ द सॉइल दैट इज साइड स्लोप यू कैन से to prevent the migration of the contaminants so there are always chances that along with the water some contaminants may be there so you want to avoid that to enter in, in your site to keep the ground water from entering into the excavation so that is the major purpose so first thing is that you want to avoid ground water to enter in your site of excavation so generally it is done by very simple method that is called as pumping when when you are uh, allowing pumping it will locally uh, lower the ground water table agar aap pump kar rahe hain to pump se aapka jo bhi ground water table hai that will be lower down and so in the vicinity of excavation you can install the pumping machinery and you can uh, locally lower the ground water table or the second option is that either you can provide the physical cut off wall if this is your site of excavation to aaju baaju pe aap cut off wall provide kar do so that will also uh, Uh, restrict the entry of ground water from the surrounding so generally it may be defined as pumping from the well or sump to temporarily lower the ground water level to allow the excavation to be done in dry and stable conditions below your natural ground water level so whatever is your ground water level that you want to temporarily <coughs> make it down so that it should not enter in your construction site so generally this dewatering of trenches in very pervious soil pervious soil means the soil which is allowing water to pass through that so it cause very uh, in, uh, problem cause a very uh, very much problem that the seepage of water so due to seepage of water that will enter your pit and that construction site it may become wet so we have to keep our construction site in dry condition that is the is very important requirement while doing excavation so there are different methods which are used for dewatering so first is pumping sump and ditches with pumping then deep well system or bore well system shallow well system horizontal well system so these are all the system in which normally pumping is done next is well point system cement and clay grouting chemical process or chemical consolidation freezing process electro osmosis process and hydro flotation so today uh, in the first part of this dewatering method we will study about this pumping sump and ditches with pumping deep well or bore well system so pumping is very uh, common method so generally pumps are installed along the foundation trench jo bhi trench hai aapka uske along you have to keep your pumping so here you can provide pumping all around at the suitable points so uh, there are certain requirements or the features that is to be uh, present in your pump so it should be portable because you have to take that pump at different site capable of handling water with impurities because uh, water may contain certain silt or fine particles so it should handle that impurities then it should be strong and reliable so all this requirement it is generally uh, fulfilled by this centrifugal pump So centrifugal pump is generally employed for the dewatering of the foundation trenches. So here in this figure, you can see these are the uh, these pumps are installed, and just it will lower down the groundwater table. Next is sump and ditches with pumping. So basically, this is very simple and cheap method for dewatering in the favorable ground condition, like coarse grain soil. If coarse grain soil is there, then here this sump and ditches method is widely used. So generally, it is consisting of the drain, side drain, having diameter 200 mm of semi-circular shape, and that are constructed along the bottom of the foundation trench. जो भी आपका trench है उसी के अंदर side drain, collector drain provide करना है. And one shallow pit, which is called as the sump, so that may be having this size, are dug along the periphery at the distance of 45 to 60 meter. So we are in this figure. I will explain this. So this is nothing but this is the collector drain. so this drain are to be constructed first and along with this uh, 
the, the slope of this drain is adjusted in such a way that it will move towards this sump. Sump is nothing but it is like a pit. Pit hai, a tank jaisa hai, jiske andar jo bhi collected rain se pani aata hai. So this water that is coming out from this uh, entry of uh, the sides of the trench, it will first come in the collector drain. Slope is provided in such a way that it will move to a sump. When the water, so this sump are provided at certain suitable distance. And uh, this uh, uh, is to be pumped through this pump. And then it is to be brought to the settling tank because some impurities might be there. So to remove that impurities, it is allowed to settle in the settling tank. So generally this side drain and sump etc. it is to be constructed at the bottom part of the trench itself. So trench can be removed and this sump, it is nothing but uh, it's a ditch, uh, it's, uh, sorry, it's a pit and these ditches are nothing but these are the collector drain. So this drain of semi-circular shape are given such a slope as I have discussed, slope itna hai ki that will go towards the sump. And water, when it is collected in the deeper part of the sump, they are to be pumped away, and that is to be allowed in the that uh, chamber uh, for the settlement. So generally, it is having limited use in relatively coarse soil or fissured rock. But if you are using it for the fine grain soil, fine grain soil may we are using, and it will lead to erosion and loss of fineness, uh, the loss loss of that fine material, which will result in the instability. So some takes the space within the excavation. And as some fines or some silt may also come up with the water, it can lead to water pollution problems also. So this is very simple and cheap method consisting of drain along with sump and pump. Next method is well. So as you know, well means it is your pump, you can say. So deep well. So it's like a bore well. So all of you are knowing bore well. So similar kind of bore well that can be constructed. So wells are drilled at a wide spacing, generally 10 to 60 meters between the wells to form a ring around outside the excavation. If you have excavated site, hai, uh, then uh, you can construct uh, these bore uh, wells at certain 10 to 60 meter distance. So uh, uh, it is useful for the depth of excavation more than 16 meter. Where the depth is 60 meter se hai, aur pe artesian water is present. Artesian water means whatever will come out automatically due to pressure of the uh, overlying soil and the water table is high so automatically it will come out. So in these two conditions you can go for the deep well system. So electric submersible pump, so here you can see electrical submersible pump is to be installed in each well. So we have a well has electrical submersible pump and it will result in pouring of your ground water if initially this is your groundwater table now it will lower down to this level so this drawdown it is called as drawdown this drawdown is limited only by the well depth depth kitna hai and the soil ka strata is there. but it may not be more than either. so this uh, deep well or uh, the board well system it may be effective in the wide range of ground condition having sandy soil gravels or fissured rock so very simple method is that bore well is to be constructed all around the site of your excavation and you have to lower down the <coughs> groundwater table so here in this figure this is the natural groundwater table and this is the lowered groundwater table so which is also called as cone of depression so this cone of depression that can be obtained so this groundwater table is reduced and now this is your water table so this is cone of depression or which is called as drawdown so by locally lowering down the uh, groundwater table uh, you can uh, um, make it at the deeper depth so it will not enter in your construction site next is shallow well system so similar to deep well now at the shallow depth the well are to be constructed so it is used for the coarse grain soil so generally hole of uh, 30 centimeter diameter or more is bored in the ground ground may uh, bore karna hai 30 centimeter or se jada, and depth may be up to 10 meters so it is shallow depth and the strainer tube of 15 centimeter di diameter strainer tube under uh, in that well and that may be lower down into the borehole and the suction pipes from the number of such wells may be connected to a one common header pipe connected with the pumping unit so so many uh, such well uh, that are connected with the common header pipe now next is pumping from the horizontal well so now a number of uh, horizontal wells if you are installing and this well, they are collecting groundwater, okay, 
and so uh, whatever water which is coming it through this horizontal well it is to be transferred to the central well so here this is the vertical shaft or the central well so that will collect all water which is coming from the horizontal well and that is to be taken out by the pump so by this method also you can reduce the ground water and uh, it is used for the special circumstances when the well point or bore well cannot be used so in the uh, next part we are going to uh, discuss uh, further methods which are widely used for the uh, dewatering uh, in the excavation so this is the first part that i have discussed uh, what is uh, dewatering and uh, which are the different methods used and uh, th uh, three to four uh, the four methods that is with the uh, simple pumping some kind ditches then uh, deep well shallow well and uh, that uh, <coughs> horizontal well how they are useful in lowering down the ground water table and to keep your construction site uh, dry okay so in the next part we will discuss about the remaining methods so thank you very much